Hello everyone, I am Jing Song and today's video I'm gonna show you about using VLOOKUP function correctly so you can use this with Microsoft Excel 2013 or 2016 as you want so let's get started first we need to know about the, the definition of a VLOOKUP function what is the VLOOKUP function? Okay, the VLOOKUP function in Excel is a tool for looking up a piece of information in a table or data set and extracting some corresponding data or information. Okay, this is the definition of the VLOOKUP function we use to search for a piece of information in a, ta in a table. So, how can we write the formula before we can write the formula you need to know about the syntax first okay the syntax of the VLOOKUP function we started with the equal sign and then we look up inside the bracket we have the arguments like lookup value this is the required argument and the second argument is called table array and the third is column index and the last one is optional we call it lookup range the vlookup function uses the following arguments okay let's see this the first argument like i told you before it is a require argument you have to put it that's called lookup value the lookup value specifies the value that we want to look up in the first column of a table. Okay, and the second argument is table array. The table array is the data array that is to be searched. This is supposed to be all the information you are looking for in the table. And third is column index. The column index is supposed to be the number of columns. It starts from left to right. The first column in a table is number one. Remember that. And the last one is lookup range. This is not the required. This is optional. You can put it or you don't want to put. It's okay. But if you don't put this argument, it will automatically select the true one so let's get start with the example okay and i have this table okay i have a student list name grade 7 b in this exercise i want to search for students name sex and email address by searching with the student ID what I mean I mean that I just insert the student ID and then the student's name sex and email will appear right here so let's get started okay let's get start with the writing this formula we start with equal sign and we type B look up over here so this is the acumen look up value the value you are looking for supposed to be student ID right so I use the mouse select this I just put it in absolute reference comma and then table array what is the table array table array supposed to be all the information that you are looking for in the tape in the table so this should be from student ID to email but we use this arranged okay from B3 column B row 3 until column G row 2021 20, so we can write the cell ranged like this b3 colon and g2021 20, comma and then column indexed column indexed 
supposed to be the number of the column. As I told you, it starts from the left to the right. The first column in the table supposed to be number one, and this is student's name, right? So this supposed to be number number two. The column indexed will be number number two because student's name is in column two in the table. Comma, and I will choose false. Exact match. Close it and press enter. Na. What happened? Because I don't put the student ID in this cell address J3. So let's copy this. Copy and paste. See, would not dumb rot rot na. So perfect. And get started with this. I can use the Fill handle to copy this formula, but before I do that, I need to make sure all the cell ranged that I'm using in the table can't be changed. So I make it in absolute re references. Okay, press enter. Use the fill handle, drag. What's the problem? I just need to change the column index number. Number two, right? I change to number four. Why? Because this is one, two, three, four. Column six stand for number number four and press enter. Okay. I make in the center. And about this, I just changed to. Okay, count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I put it six. Enter. Perfect. Okay. Now, you know about using the VLOOKUP func functions. Okay, let's get started with another example. Example, this time, I want to create a new sheet. Over here, click this. And I paste this information. Sorry. Uh, I use this. Okay. Now, how can you make a references between different sheets? Okay, I drag this over here. So I rename it to finding stu student. Sorry, finding student. And this time, I will reference between different different worksheets. So it's not difficult. We just start with typing equal sign J3. Sorry, <laughs> we we look up, we look up, and now I want to find from this the value I want to find is a a2, comma the table array. How can we take it from here? So just select it here. Okay, click and drag. Mm -hmm. Right here, you will see this in the formula bar, right? Put comma and column in index. Column index, we use this one, two. So just put it two, comma, and put false. After that, press and enter. Okay, let's begin with this. Copy and paste. See? Perfect. Uh, change the font to be mm, okay. Whatever. It's just the same. From here, I want to add absolute before copying the formula for this absolute. Put the dollar sign. Press enter and drag to the right and this change the column index to be 4 up oh, sorry and the last one is number 6 okay here we go mm, changed to this all right and 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks. Have a good day.